tour of the basement. We love it. I'm so happy that it's finished. Okay, so I got a few things. Good morning guys and welcome to another summer day. I just love when I turn on the camera and the battery starts blinking at me and we left the house so I have no other battery to put in the camera. Might switch to my phone in a second but we are currently at Jersey Mike's which I've never been here before. It's a sandwich place. I don't know if it's like all over the country or what but Lauren keeps telling me that if you get a sandwich Mike's way that it's really good. So we, I worked a little bit this morning and we decided to come out and have a little picnic and go to a splash pad and then Cove has swimming lessons. So we are out for the afternoon. I have an event that I'm going to tonight, which I'm really excited about. It's a day hair event. And this will be like the third one that I've gone to. Daddy went inside to go get sandwiches. They don't have a drive through so maybe they do at some locations. But yeah, Parker ran inside to go get us some sandwiches. And we're going to a splash pad we haven't been to before. But anyways, this is my third day hair event. I usually don't go to events like ever. I don't, oh, do I get invited to them? I don't know. I don't even know if I do because I just always would like say pass and never go. But I love day hair, so we are going to that. Well, I'm going to that later. But anyways, the girlies are in the back. They actually slept in today and yesterday. It was so, so nice. They had been waking up between like 6 and 6.30. And even if we put them to bed late, they were still like waking up early. So I was like, okay, this is just my life now. But yesterday and today, they slept in until at least like 7. And that is sleeping in. I think it was closer to like 7.30. So that felt nice. I feel like one of my biggest mom tips is wake up before your kids. And sometimes it's so hard, especially if they're up so early. But even just having five minutes to myself in the morning <laughs> makes such a big difference. So I actually have not been working out. I'm not in my working out era right now. I need to get back into it. But since we got home from California, I just have not really worked out very much. So I need to get back into that because I like working out in the mornings, but have not been doing that. So I've just been stretching instead. So I did a little stretch video. Shower before they were up, which I pretty much never do. I always shower after they're awake, but it was a good start to the morning. And daddy went in the sandwich shop. Okay, what'd we get? Chips, sandwiches, yummy. Yummy. All right, so we're back at home. Swimming lessons went better today. That was her third one and she's slowly getting more comfortable. So we go back in two days, but we are down in the basement. Today we are yes. finally gonna show you guys our finished basement. That's been finished for what? Like almost a year? Probably. Like a long time. Yeah, it has been. I've been waiting on one thing and I just don't know if it's ever gonna come, so. I don't, it did come, but it was broken, remember? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll show you guys in a sec. Yeah. But anyways, we worked with Dwellify to finish our basement. So I thank you to Dwellify for sponsoring this video. They were amazing to work with and we're so grateful that we got to work with them. I never wanted to even finish our basement. We get a lot of questions about why we finished the basement if we are moving, but when we started working with them, we didn't know when, like we didn't have a plan to move. We knew eventually we'd move out of this house, but we didn't know when. So the basement being finished just ups the value of this house. And even though we are moving out eventually, we still use this literally all the time. Like Cove comes down here to play if we ever have play dates or if we ever have friends over, like we use the basement all the time. It's so nice nice to have it's the space the done. ultimate fun zone, as yes. you'll see. Especially, it's like decorated cute, but it's definitely like- Just the play room. The, the play the area. The play yeah. area, yeah. The whole floor. Yeah, you'll so, see. So yeah, it's been so nice to have the space done, especially with two kids, just having so much room for everything has been so nice. So we actually have some before footage that Parker just showed me and it's so crazy to see like what it looked like before. So everything is finished. It's been finished for a while. It's like decorated, but like I said, we're missing the one thing that I don't know if it'll ever come. It's a chair, but I'm gonna give you guys a little basement tour. So first thing, we come down the stairs. This is a big, huge storage room, which is amazing. We didn't know what to put in that area and I think it was it them that suggested making it a storage room. Yeah, well, that was like this was storage room on the floor plan, like for oh. the basement. The yeah, one, the floor plan. That's, we used that to use that as a that was our gym area. Yeah, and now it's storage. It's actually a really big room. We have this cute little table down here. I still want to get like a rug or something for right here, so yeah. I haven't done that yet. But then over here, this is the home Ooh, gym area. So this is where we come and do our workout. So it's nice 
nice so we can fit most of our stuff with like the treadmill going up and then that holds in half so we have a pretty good setup in here and then this is the bathroom and all of the rest of our bathrooms in this house are like very 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 plain when we were designing this house initially the people the design people that we worked with just like did not they were not very helpful so basically our bathrooms and the rest of the house are just like super plain and boring so I was super excited to have this one be like a little bit more fun we kind of went a little more like simple on the floor tile because we did this fun tile up here this is my favorite. and also this fun tile in the shower so it's like pink penny tile and then we wrapped this shower tile across the whole wall so we don't have any other bathroom that's like this so this, this is, one's yeah, really fun because it fun. actually is just cute so yeah when we designed with dwellify we went to their like design center we had people who actually like knew what they were doing and helped us make everything cute so that was really nice so we went to their design center they had a ton of different options when we built our house with our actual builder and we went and saw all the options for all the things to pick out they did not have nearly as much as dwellify did so the options were very limited but in at dwellify showroom they had tons of stuff it took us kind of a while to like pick everything out because there was so many cute things the bathroom turned out really really cute and then actually over here this is our guest room it's really nice to have it downstairs it used to be upstairs and that was kind of just a pain having our guest on the same floor as like the baby and everything so parker's brother was actually just here this weekend with his wife they stayed in here and then this is the big play area just a fun zone so this is the thing that who knows if the second one will ever come. I think I literally ordered April of 2021. So it's been over a year. Both of them got delivered after forever and one of them was broken. So for now, we only have this one chair in the corner. It actually fits fine, but there's supposed to be a second one. So we have this cute little corner set up over here. And then we have this little like train table thing that we don't really have anywhere to put it. So kind of just put that right there. But then we have the ping pong table out. Parker's family was here this weekend and we were playing with this. This area is super multi-use. I was gonna to say this we normally will fold up and then cove has a little bounce house that we'll pull out yeah we so, have storage in that closet for this yeah, too it's, so it's just a nice big open area to use for whatever wiggle cars around in here yeah we have like scooters wiggle yeah. cars if you guys remember a while ago we painted these little canvases and hung them up on the wall and then this is our little like theater room area so this was actually a window but we covered it up with the projector screen and i think we have like blackout like literally paper in there so the light oh, doesn't had, come through we a nice blackout for oh we did yeah, i don't remember nice. oh yeah we did do that so that we could open it up if we wanted to but we just thought that this layout made the most sense because it's i don't know it's just the most practical for us and this is just so fun to just Ugh. Yeah, the girls come play down here. This Playing is where here. if we have like kids over for a play date, this we have this couch that's from Six Penny, this big fluffy rug, so this soft. little jungle gym, our nugget Ugh. couch. We still need to like hide the cords. I don't know if we'll yeah. ever even actually nice get to doing that. About but Dwellify and the details. They put this so that we can run all the cords into that room and we have like the electrical stuff in there. We just haven't done that we yet. Haven't gotten to it. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually. This is Super nice big play area. And then we have the kitchenette down here. Super, super cute. Has a microwave, has, they helped out with like cabinet designs and everything. Thought of it all. So we have like trash and all of that. Um, we have a little mini fridge, the sink, more storage right there like I showed you guys. And then we actually weren't even gonna do this under the stairs thing and they suggested that we make it cute like this and make it a little like under the stairs play area. So we have a lot of random like toys and stuff in here. So that's really come in handy too for just hiding all the toys. So that is a little tour of the basement. We love it. I'm so happy that it's finished. We had such a good experience with Dwellify. They asked us to talk about like the highs and the lows, but there was honestly not, there was no lows at all. The only thing is that it just like takes a while, like it's a long project. So that's like the only thing I can even think of, but that's normal. Right, it, yeah. There's so much stuff to do. So yeah, they were super accommodating to us and came in through the window because there's not a door down here. And like with the baby and the dog and everything, it just was a lot more convenient for them to come in through the window. So that was really nice. We had a project manager that kept us updated on like what was going on, what to expect next, the timeline of everything. They do a ton of different projects and remodels and all types of different things. They have lots of different things to pick from in their showroom. So if you have like a different style, they have lots of options. You guys should definitely check them out if anybody needs any type of project like this done because they seriously are the best. And I'm so happy we're finally doing a tour when it's literally been like a year and we come down here all the time. But just wanted to show you guys that. So thank you again to Dwellify. Their link is down below.
Okay, so I am now getting ready for the event that I'm going to tonight. It's from 7 to 9. You guys know my bedtime is usually 7. So I have on this cute dress. It's from Sabo Skirt. And then I'm just going to freshen up a little bit. Maybe I should wrap this. Maybe that would be faster. I just did an Instacart order for Sephora because I've been wanting to try the Drunk Elephant Bronze Drop. So I was going to try and go there, but thank goodness for Instacart. So those will be here in just a second. So I'm like redo my face makeup i need to go in 15 minutes but i should be fine because my eyebrows are already done and so is my mascara i'm not putting on that much makeup anyways but just curling my hair i usually do a low bun but today we're doing ponytail vibes i feel like my hair just does not curl like anytime i curl my hair it's literally just a waste of my time so i don't know why i'm even doing this but literally what that is stick straight why do i even bother i want like a cute curly fluffy ponytail and i have like texture spray and hairspray and stuff in my hair too like it should be holding girl it is like straight as can be okay so i got a few things i got a couple things from drunk elephant never tried any of their stuff but i got like four things from there so i got the bronze drops which i actually should have like looked into this but i think that you just oh wait you're supposed to add it to serum or your stuff okay good thing i got a serum i got the be intense no, Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. Got this to try. Got the Lala Retro Whipped Cream. And I got this Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser, which I'm not gonna use right now, but should I redo my whole? Mm, yeah, I'm going to. Okay, I just changed my earrings and put on these cute little flower ones. These are the shoes that I'm wearing. And then I forgot to show that I also got this Summer Fridays like body oil thing that has like glitter in it. So this is the little look. The camera's aimed up too high, but yeah, I gotta go because I'm gonna be late. The way my hands feel on your body, we were dancing in the dark. With every move I make you're falling. So I just got to my office. We have a photo shoot today and I am shooting the photos. I think, it, I was gonna say it's four hours, but I think it's actually only three. It's from two to five. I am mentally preparing to go in and shoot for three hours. The event last night was so fun. It was a day in IVL Collective. So it was just so amazing. I don't even know what other words to say. You guys saw the video. That was really fun to go to and I usually don't go to a lot of events. So yeah, I had fun going to that and like socializing and seeing people. Now I'm at the office and then tonight we're actually going to a little gender party for Derek and Sarah if you guys know them from TikTok I don't think I'll vlog that but I'm excited for that so got my big Stanley cup for my water I have a box of random stuff to take inside what else I need to just do some random like computer stuff so the girls are actually with a babysitter because Parker had a lot of stuff to do today too it's only 12 41 and the shoot's not until 2 so I came a little bit early just so that I could like get some things done in peace so we're gonna go in and see what we're shooting I think we're shooting some stuff for fall so yeah I'll show you guys if you Picking out some of the outfits before we shoot. We have a little mini collection coming soon. There's a sneak peek of that. I don't want to show too much, but we have lots of fun, cute things. Even though it's fall that we're shooting, I feel like we still have lots of cute like pastels and stuff because it's just what I like to wear. But a little sneak peek of some of the things we have coming soon. We're shooting with three models today. So we have this rack, this rack, and that one. 